Established in 1884, the Naval War College is the oldest institution of its kind, and for the first time in its 135-year history, a woman has been appointed president. Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield describes the call. Quite overwhelming. She says the college represents such an important part of naval history. It's where so many great leaders were formed and where they learned the art of war. And it gives people a chance to develop their ideas. It's a, a thought-provoking uh, environment, and uh, great pieces of naval strategy have come out of that um, institution, and I'm just so honored to be chosen to lead it. Chatfield has no immediate plans for the college. First, she wants feedback from those that are there. And so hearing those voices and uh, mobilizing that team for the accomplishment uh, of the Naval War College's mission that is what I want to do when I get on the ground there. The Admiral says she's truly enjoyed her two years in Guam. Her advice to her successor is to take every chance to get out into the community and learn about the culture and history. A good example is the upcoming Liberation Day commemoration. She says she better appreciates its significance because of the lessons it's taught her. About the importance of ethical conduct of war, uh, war termination, uh, protection of vulnerable populations. Each of those lessons is ingrained in me now. And uh, I know that my relief will feel the same way. I was delighted when I was assigned here to Guam. Um, I, I received a warm welcome. Uh, the family here at Joint Region Marianas is extremely warm, a very talented group of people dedicated um, and uh, so many of them are uh, longtime Guam residents or born and raised here. And so we've got a fantastic team uh, here at Joint Region Marianas. I will miss each and every person on Guam. It, I can't believe that it's um, almost time to go. She leaves for Newport, Rhode Island at the end of the month. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.